Everybody, happy International Women's Day! You are live at home with me, Daphne Iking. I'm just checking the Instagram feed right now, and I see some familiar names coming on board. We've got Nana in the house, my fellow CBM. Um, some familiar names. Yes, YCE50, it is colorful indeed. And for those of you who are also watching us live over my YouTube, Twitter, as well as my Facebook page, Hello, assalamu alaikum, and a very good evening. Today is going to be very Santa. I'm actually going to be sharing with you um, Norwex's latest promotion in lieu and in conjunction with International Women's Day. But before that, before I actually share this little promotion with all of you, I'm just trying to check in to see how everyone's feeling. I've been having a few live sessions with my team, uh, teams. <laughs> as well as you know some clients and i think one of the um, one of the repeated questions that i always get is how do you manage your time daphne how do you juggle how do you do it all and it makes me feel like i'm this you know everyone says you're like a super mom how do you have all this energy and i'll tell you guys truthfully that it's not all that you think it is or what i post over social media as much as I try to be authentic and as truthful and as honest in my social media pages because I am sort of a open book um, when I don't post stuff that's the times when I'm probably having a meltdown or when I'm super exhausted or when I just want to chill out and not do anything and just be a lazy complete bum because that happens and it's so important for you women out there um, especially and I'll tell you the reason why I'm specifically saying women to just allow yourself to give yourself love to not have to worry about everyone else around you and to focus on yourself first you know how they have that analogy about when you're on the plane and then they give you these safety instructions and they said if the emergency takes place yada 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 one of the emergency instructions is if the oxygen comes low becomes low then please put a mask onto yourself before you put the mask onto a minor or someone under your care in this case it'll probably be your children right and the first instinct when i first heard this when i first started flying as a young kid i said like but why wouldn't mommy want to put it on me first? Because I'm a small kid, I'm a small child. I, I wouldn't know how to reach for the oxygen mask and stuff like that. And now that I am a parent myself, and then it just occurred to me that if I, if that was the situation, I know I'm a bit morbid, but I like to think and do things out of extreme. I think it's my phone. Is it my phone that's having a bit of a music here? Let me just put it off on silent. There you go. Um, if, you know, now that I'm a parent myself, I see the logic in that because I need to be able to be healthy and strong and, you know, fully aware of 
um, being the best potential for myself so that I can be uh, the best version of myself to those around me, including my kids. So imagine if I started putting the oxygen mask on the child, on my child first, and by then I'm like, uh, 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 and then I mati kang kang. Sorry, again, I told you guys, if people who follow me, they know how morbid I can be. And then the baby like that, and then go no mother, no parent. So yes, so that's basically the knology of it. If uh, One thing that I would like for uh, women, especially mothers who are, uh, you know, busy moms, working moms, and they're watching this right now, is don't forget to give yourself some love. And um, I just had this chat also um, as I was um, invited to guest speak in a, for a client this uh, afternoon. And they said like, you know, how, how do you, how do you then, uh, you know, communicate this? Like you need support from your spouse or your partner, your husband, in order for you to be able to give yourself some self-love. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to have those conversations. And I think that is the reason why we have a day like today, an International Women's Day. Men will say, oh, how come we don't have an International Men's Day? It's because there still is, sadly, even in this day and age, inequality that's taking place. And I'm gonna give you some snippets of examples where, you know, we're just seeing no fair play in work, in home front, in our culture, and that's just how it is. For starters, like I was discriminated for being pregnant. And that's the reason why I hid all three of my pregnancies right after Isabel. I, 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 I hid all my three pregnancies because they thought that, you know, having a female MC uh, probably would not look good on the event. I don't know. I'm not sure. I would understand it more better if it was because, let's say, lah, katakanlah, they asked me to do a hosting stint or a presenting gig where I have to like lompat lompat or it's going to endanger me and the, the baby inside me. Then I can understand lah why they're concerned. Tapi ni sebab kurang menarik, tak cantik. I get that because again, that's another different topic altogether about how the media has this perception of what beauty, ideal beauty is supposed to look like. And I'm going to be having a chat with um, the folks with uh, Noex actually to talk about beauty and the, you know, what is the ideal beauty like in my perception. But that I'll share that with you guys um, when it's out. But um, yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about how, it, it, you know, how if, if, if that was the reason, I can still accept it. Bike lah, maybe everyone has this reason for what they want their MC to look like. Okay, walaupun I'm like, ah, okay. Tapi ini, can you imagine? There was one gig. I'm not gonna mention who the, the client was. But the client or that particular event actually had this theme that's supposed to empower women. So when I found out that I was cut off from the list as a potential MC for that event, I'm like, hold on a minute, hang in, hang in there. I, I, uh, hang on, hang in, hang on. You're supposed to be empowering women. Women do get married. Some people do, women do choose to get married and to have children. That is normal. How are you saying that you're empowering women when you're discriminating a pregnant woman from emceeing your event? So these are some of the small things that has happened to me personally. And another thing that I've been fighting very, very hard for, I've been championing it, is the fact that we need to push for paternity leave here in Malaysia to get that bill passed in parliament. In back, back in 2019, um, there was a, a petition that was being signed and I was part of um, that little entourage with Women's Aid Organization where we marched to the parliament to hand over the uh, petition to the uh, relevant YBs who said they'll look into it. And uh, the reason I'm saying or pushing for paternity leave is because of the fact, one, I mean, there's just so many benefits for the father to be there as soon as the mother delivers her baby. Number one is the mother just delivered. She needs to heal, she needs to rest. That is the reason why women who deliver need to go through a confinement period. Not everybody has the luxury of having a confinement lady to look after her or a parent or a relative to look after her and the baby. Some people just have to do it alone, you know? So having the father there would be a huge, tremendous help. So that's satu. Nombor dua, 
Takkan lah the father doesn't want to bond with the baby kan? I mean surely it's not just a mother's job or role or wants to be able to communicate and bond with their newborn. The father wants that opportunity too. Three, I think in terms of work, if we are able to grant paternity leave across the sectors, that means private and public sectors, then they will be able to have, there will be fair game in terms of maybe even equal pay. Women and men will both get equal pay. You know, I'm, I'm still quite, surprised that both promotions of two friends of mine you know it was slightly lower the pay offered to my girlfriend just because she's a female i don't know it can't be because of her expertise i mean they're both gunning for the same promotion and i think she had also um had her last salary you know they have that expectated expect expectated expected salary and what they were they used to earn before so it's quite on par with her, the male uh, potential of course um the man got the job and reason being was because they said oh what are your plans do you plan to have children are you married do you plan to have children and that was one of the questions that they asked her it was not so much about how would you be able to contribute to the company what are your plans and ideas for the company what are what are your thoughts about how this a, a company can grow together with you and you know it was you know are you married yes do you plan to have children do you have children do you, do you plan to have children and that was one of the first questions that she received don't you think that's a little bit like hmm whereas the guy doesn't have it and it's the same for some of the interviews that i get sometimes i get um questions that is given to me in my script by the agency or the clients and I always sort of try and change uh, the tone of interview especially when I have to ask a panel a panel and there'll be women, female pa panelists and male panelists but I always have to ask the female panelist hey Mrs. so-and-so katakanlah saya interview Michelle Obama okay Michelle Obama, how, how do you juggle work and, you know, family home? Do I ask Mr. Obama that? Nuh-uh. -uh. Why can't I ask him that? Mr. Obama, how do you juggle work and family and running, you know, the whole of America? Kenapa tak tanya macam tu? Faham tak? So, I, I think there is that stereotypical notion that women automatically has that role of a caregiver. And then it still has that, you know, it's, it's based on culture, it's based on how it was back in the days where the men were seen as the breadwinner and the women would be caregivers. So now work from home moms out there are also, you know, as soon as they get home, they have to now think about putting on their mommy and wife hat to clean, to cook, to do that, you know, to do whatever is necessary of them. Whereas in some households, I'm not saying in all, like I'm blessed. I've got a very hands-on husband who does cleaning, cooking, wonderful. In fact, he cooks better than me. Uh, so he's quite hands-on. But he's also my business partner. So he knows the ins and outs of how it should work and how we should marry our, our family, our work, as well as our responsibilities as husband and wife, right? We, we try at least. But not all, all households do that. So the woman is left with dah lah penat balik dia kerja, lepas tu dia kena masak lagi, kena bersihkan rumah lagi, kena make sure that the kids have enough stuff for food for whatever for next day because you know, and at the same time also lion husband dia. You know? So I'm saying all this, I'm not trying to diss men. I think a lot of people think that you know, they have this International Women's Day because it's a way for them to diss men. No, no, no. In fact, we want the support of our fellow men. We want to also teach our sons to be respectful and to be able to, you know, give equal opportunities. And when we're talking about equal, this is something that my husband has something to say. I think so he's going to say right now. So you're going to lie on me tonight, eh? InsyaAllah. Kalau tak penat. Okay. Hmm? Hmm. Sebab tadi dia bantu saya membersih-bersih sikit. Dia tak masak tapi dia bersih-bersih. So, and he helped me with some technical stuff that I needed to get done. So, mana tahu. But yes, so that's that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about and how we choose to challenge and to, you know, disrupt this culture so that there is equal play. Um, 
and fair game for both genders. I think it's time for us to do that and I think that's the reason why we continue to have the International Women's Day to celebrate women, to empower other women and to just love one another, to be able to express ourselves without feeling scared or being, you know, belittled in that sense. So, that's all about International Women's Day for me. I thought I was going to make it short and sweet and it goes straight to what Norwex has to offer. And I'm going to go right into that then. So, you all know that I am a Norwex sales independent consultant. And Norwex Malaysia has recently offered this little promotion in lieu of Women's Day. So, you just buy the Safe Haven Plus set. For those of you who are familiar with Norwex, you would know that there is that offering where you have the Safe Haven Plus set which has all the essential tools and products to kickstart your cleaning of your home to create a safe haven or a safe home for your home, for your house, for your family, for your kids, for your livelihood, okay? And it consists of all this. So for those of you who may not be familiar with Norwex, Norwex is a brand from, and it means Norway experience. It's been around for more than 25 years. And I think um, one of the key big reasons why it's so different from the other microfibers um, that are sold in the market is the fact that it has backlog technology and this backlog technology after 24 hours if the cloth has been maintained and taken care of um, then it is able to self purify itself within 24 hours if it's wet so you leave it to dry um, and it will self purify within 24 hours and inhibits all these bacteria that causes you know bad odor and stuff like that so if you have like normal kind buru normal microfiber that doesn't have this technology then you will notice that your your cloth your kain buru will smell over time or it won't be as efficient as usual my husband's like oh, what was wrong is it my phone no okay so that is one of the big reasons why Norex um, is, um, you know, has just so, sort of like got me so involved. I thought that I'll just be happy with my mop, but here I am talking to you guys live about cleaning products. Number two, I've always been quite a clean freak. Um, my family is quite prone to eczema, so we can't have any dust around. I'm very sensitive to oily floors and I can't take uh, cleaning products that are very strong you know so I, I don't go for chemicals and stuff so that was another that is another mission of Norwex where they are trying to radically reduce the usage of chemicals in your home okay it's creating a safe haven so these are the products that is sold under the safe haven set we've got the this is not the actual color but I wanted to show you guys because this is the one that I have at home so this is the kitchen cloth all right a kitchen cloth is great. It's less dense than the... I should have started with Enviro cloth actually because the Enviro cloth is the main cloth, the first cloth that they created. But this is the kitchen cloth and I think this has to be actually my personal favorite. And it comes with a kitchen towel. So if you're not familiar like, okay, apa beza kitchen cloth dengan kitchen towel? The kitchen towel would be, you know, like your good morning towel. Ah, but 10, 100,000 times better than that, okay? Yes, because it really does absorb all the water when you're wiping your dishes and it dries really, really fast. So you can see the difference in size from the angle over here. And so this is to basically wipe what lap lap surfaces and stuff like that. It says kitchen cloth, but I use it for every room. I've got a room, I've got a kitchen cloth in each bedroom and each bathroom. And then we've got the kitchen towel, which is longer in size. And it is something that I use personally to wipe my uh, dishes dry oh all right no. and it's great because it dries really really fast oh no there's no oh no over there oh no. let's start with the everything cloth okay so this is the everything cloth the enviro cloth this is their first baby and this was actually the first cloth that got me hooked onto norwex i was complaining about how i would always spend time after cleaning up the whole house every night soaking my white muslin cloth cloths as well as my cotton cloths because I like my cloths to be putte and bersi and tak buso and then it started to cause of course no matter no matter how gentle my detergent was back then uh, because I would hand wash my cloths and then it started of course making my eczema even worse so someone one of my followers actually and bless her if, if it weren't for you I can't remember your name anymore I think it was Belinda she actually gifted me this with the window cloth 
and I fell in love with it. And I wanted to, of course, I did my research about it, and I said, oh, if if the Enviro cloth is this great, I want something for the floors, and I wanted to invest in a mop. And then, coincidentally, my friend, who is now my sponsor or my recruit uh, recruiter. Um, she got, call, got me in touch, got in touch with me, and she told me that she's, um, you know, with Norwex, and I joined her team, and the rest, as they say, is history. So, I love the EnviroCloth. It's a little bit more denser. This is used for general cleaning, but I wouldn't, I mean, you can use it in the kitchen. It's just that sometimes when you have, like, oily spills, so because it absorbs so much, it might be a little bit tougher for you to remove the grime off from the microfiber. So you have to just soak it 60 degrees of um, hot water, put a bit of UPP detergent, uh, which is the Ultra Power Plus detergent that Norwex has. And then you just let it soak for a bit. But then don't let it soak until the water gets cold because that's when you just rub it, you know, just wash it with the hands. You rub it against itself because then that's also trying to clean itself up. Or you can use a rubber brush and it's it's as good as new but um yeah for simple kitchen wipes and everything i still prefer using the kitchen cloth but the enviro cloth we have this also in each floor because it's something that i like to the kids um i've got young kids so they tend to spill stuff occasionally so it's good to just like quickly wipe up and this is like the bomb. You can use it for almost everything. If you want to wash your car, you want to wash this, you want to wash that, it's great. But of course, Norwex has expanded their products and they've got different cloths for different purposes also. But yeah, if you are new to the products and you wanted to just try one, I would highly recommend the base package, which includes which is for, oh, which includes the Norwex Enviro cloth as well as the window cloth. Now the window cloth, oh my God, this is the bomb. You know how you used to have those multi-purpose sprays huh? yeah or you have those window cleaners huh? and then you will take the the surat kabar or at least in my kampung lah we do that take the surat kabar and then go and lap 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 so that, so that the cermin oh jadi bersih it works it does but one i don't have any newspapers anymore because everything is going online so we don't have we don't have newspapers in this house anymore and two i think i don't need to use those window sprays anymore because just using water so if it's really grimy and it has like soap scum on the window glass pane then i will just you know wash it through with a bit of um with a bit of water and then i'll scrub it with the enviro cloth and then i will wipe it dry with the window cloth and it is so shiny. My husband was very skeptical about this, so he actually used my demo cloth. So if you become a consultant with Noex, either you take the basic package or the upgraded package, I would highly recommend you to take the upgraded package. Um, but yeah, even oh, no. if you do the basic or the upgraded, you will receive like these small three mini variety packs, these travel packs, and they consist of the Enviro, the window, as well as a body pack, which you can use to just carry around in your handbag for little demo purposes as and when, right? So he he actually took my window cloth and he tried it on the aquarium for his beloved fish. Yes, his beloved ikan ikan. And now he loves it. He just he just uses it just for the fish. And he's like, don't take away my cloths. These are especially for my, my ikan. So he's got my Enviro body. I don't know why the body ones are. It's not as if you're gonna like, you know, lap the body of the fish, but yeah, it's uh -huh. there. So all three of my cloths are especially dedicated, the small ones, just for his fish. And this is amazing. You can actually do some demos. I'm not gonna do it today, but uh, you can see, um, you know, there's a few demos where they, they actually try putting on lipstick they put on butter and just with the water you spray a bit you just use the window cloth and it's clean guys not only that we also have it comes in a set of three i've only got one now this is the one that i have the other two are in uh, wet in my room uh this is the body and face cloth it's soft and it's great when you want to you know wash your face and use your you know to wipe your body some people don't have completely stopped using soap altogether um and this is great for those who have very sensitive skin because some people are very uh, prone to dryness when they use soap no matter what. So if you're just using water and you just want to give yourself a good rinse uh, and a good scrub, then this is the way to go. Although, and I don't have it here, I also use, just for my face, the Baby Body Pack because it's slightly softer, but it has a more exfoliating feel compared to the makeup remover when I'm trying to remove the gob off my face. So um, that's a little tip that I wanted to share with you guys. But this is awesome and I love it. And and 
um, some people have claimed that they don't have any more um, bau katyak because oh. tidak payah sudah dong lap lap saja sini because at the end of the day it's also removing up to 99% of bacteria it doesn't kill the bacteria but it removes 99% of the bacteria um, of the surfaces that you're wiping and this is great because, you know, at the end of the day, you want to make sure that your face is clear out of all these nonsense, right? It's not just about the dust and the oil, but also from bacteria that's going to be, you know, ruining your face. Okay, so we've also got the dish cloth. This is also another spare that I have. I've got one more at home. And uh, in the kitchen, I am at home. Admittedly, when I first got this, because I received this when I had my step up in the incentive when I ranked up as a brand advocate. Oh, oh it's two actually. Oh, this is a new one. Oops. Luckily. Uh, initially, I was like, how do I use this? How is this a dishcloth? And then I found out, oh, you know how some of those di kampung-kampung kan, orang ada macam tu netting punya jenis? Did you steal that from Madonna punya Like a Virgin Yeah, it video? does look like kan. Like a virgin. <sighs> Touched for the very first time. I don't know how many of my viewers or audience are watching, even if there is any people watching right now. I don't know because it's like pukul apan lebih kan. I don't know how many of you actually listen to Madonna. I'm an 80s kid or I think I am. But yeah, Madonna was my listen to, my go-to music growing up. Wow. Now you disrupted my thought, my flow already. I was talking about what? My dishcloth. Okay, so kau tahu kan ada bau orang yang pakai di, um, macam netting punya jenis mau kasih cuci dia punya piring kan. Those, it's, it's like brownish and orange color. So this is similar in that sense, but there's multi-purpose of this because it has a bit scrubbier feel, but it's actually quite soft at the same time. I can use this for my um, stone line pots. My stone line pots are uh, made of stone or laid with stone and they're very sensitive. So I'm supposed to just use very soft sponges on it. Sponges, sponges, sponges. Um, what I do is I tie it into a knot two times, put it in sabun and it foams up really, really well. So I just gusok gusok lah. In fact, I know of some consultants who don't even have to use their dishwash. They just use that with water and then they rinse their, their, their plates uh, with this, they scrub it off and it's good. There's no traces of oil. I've never done that. I'm just, I guess I'm a little bit more old school where I still need to wash my dishes with, water, uh, with um, dishwash. But maybe someday I'll be able to slowly change that mindset and try it for myself. But yeah, this is great. And I just discovered that I also do this. So you know when you're peeling carrots and potato and all those peelings? So I put this, I place this on my sink. And then when I'm like peeling, 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 peeling my carrots and stuff like that, the peelings will fall on this. I will then bungkus this. So I don't have to correct, correct already the sinki there. The, what do you call that? The lubang sinki lah kan? I just put this and then I put, throw it into my compost bin. Tada, senang. Tidak payah sudah saya mau kurik kurik. Then especially when you doing your manicure kan? Macam alamak, sebenarnya manicure sayang sejak kau punya manicure kena tarik tarik macam tu. So that's the dish wash or dish cloth. It comes in a set of two. What else haven't I touched? The dusting mitt. <gasps> Guys, the dusting mitt. So you rub it a bit to create the static. And then you can put your hands inside. You can glide on to a dusty surface or a dusty mirror and do whatever you have to do to remove the dust. And it sticks. Okay, so what I do is I do that and then I get a rubber brush and then just sort of like remove whatever is like gross and, and stuff. But if it's really, 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 really dusty and grimy and gross and sometimes oily become, it, there, there are some dust parts, dusty parts that are a bit oily, then I'll wash it. But other than that, I'm just, you know, I'll just brush off the uh, dust and then I'll do continue doing and it sticks. You know how sometimes when you use other microfibers, when you wipe, wipe, wipe and it, the, the dust goes here, eh, the dust goes there. So this one does it. It oh, really this one like a uh, cobra kai lah. Wax on, ah, wax, wax on, off, wax, wax on, off. wax off. Good. Again, I don't know how old our viewers who are watching this right now, if they even understand what Karate Kid is. Karate Kid, that's like one of the classic movies you've got to watch, man. It's like, um, motivasi or motivasi. Again, I'm an 80s kid, so that was one of the movies that I grew up with. Right, we are going to talk about the cleaning paste with Jazz got back into stock saya rembat but after the, the headquarters said okay it's just three orders per customers it is amazing if you need a bit of elbow grease to uh, you know to get rid of some stains or some grease or some you know things that you just want to get rid of this is 
the bomb. Okay, cleaning paste can be used on chrome, plastic, ceramics, porcelain, porcelain, porcelain tiles, and similar materials. So what it contains is marble flour, natural soap, and traces of coconut oil. So nothing nasty. And I'm sorry, this one has to be mine now. So it's like that. It's like a paste-like. And you wet your cloth or your scrub. You put a bit of that, and then you chuchila buntot kuali you. Smells so delicious also, I love it. So this is something that is, you know, everyone tries to have and once it once they open up for sale again because I think it uh, since I've been a Norwex consultant I think I've, I've had maybe three times the sold out so it's still being sold I think but it's there all right and last but not least we have the ultra power plus the laundry detergent now it is ultra concentrated and it is only the only detergent that I would safely say is safe for our microfibers what happens is um, a lot of other powdery detergents that we have in the market, which are way, way cheaper, unfortunately has fillers. What are fillers? So it basically adds on to the bulk of the detergent powder that you're buying to create bulk and to create the weight so that nampak macam banyak. But what is happening there is these fillers are actually responsible for clogging up your brain, your brain pull up. It does actually in the long run. Your drains, your plumbing system, you know, it messes up your washing machine and it's practically really bad for the environment, right? So this doesn't have any fillers. There's no phosphates, there's no sulfates, there's no chlorine, no bleach, no fillers, no optical brightness, no animal testing, no dyes, and there are no fragrances also. And it's very, very safe for our microfibers and not just our microfibers, but all other cayenne. It's so safe that you can dilute it. This is so multi-purpose, guys, that you can actually dilute it. And then, you know, if you're someone that used to have like a multi-purpose spray to clean surfaces and you still want that added, you know, a bit of soap to remove something that's really, 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 really oily or really, 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 really dirty with kids scribblings and stuff, then I would highly suggest getting the... Do you really want to hurt me? No, I don't. That's why I want to get you guys on board with Norwex. Um, but yeah, that is the reason why I love the Ultra Power Plus detergent because it's so multi-purpose that I can use it diluted even to wash my baby's clothes and my baby bottles. So that is how gentle it is, but it does its work. They've actually recently introduced the microfiber booster which you can use. So sometimes, you know, at the end of the day, we need something a little bit more hardcore to clean your cloths, especially if you're constantly using it with oily surfaces, right? And what you want to do is to remove the grime and the dirt and the whatever onto like each microfiber. I'm sure you do love. And you want to get like that little more oomph. So the microfiber booster is great. That complements our laundry detergent really, really well. The thing about our microfibers is you don't use bleach and you don't use fillers. Oh, sorry, you don't oh. use, what? Well, definitely no fillers. De and don't use softener because it will then coat your microfiber and then it will lose its efficiency, okay? Um, another thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that, you know, you don't have to put it under the hot sun because that's another, no, I mean, you know, you don't want to ruin it. There's a chance that it's, at the end of the day, it's microfiber, right? So you don't want it to to uh, ruin la, you just hang it somewhere in a shady place, uh, just enough air so that it can be aired out, and that's good to go. So these are these are what's being offered in the normal Safe Haven Plus set, and it's retailing at five hundred and seventy-five ringgit. Okay, wow. but if you okay, this is the retail price, but actually, all in all, it costs more than that. Okay, oh, no. but just for today or just for Women's Day, and this is happening from the 4th of March all the way till the 31st of March, they are also throwing in the Norwex bottle. Wow. So I actually received this because we attended the virtual conference, our first ever Rise Up virtual conference that took place in December last year. I was emceeing it. And this is a chameleon. Is that how you pronounce it, Papa? Where it changes. Come a come a come a come a come a chameleon. A vacuum plus, a flask plus. Macam orang sabar betul betul lah kau ni pon. 700 ml and this changes colors to pink. So it's white now, but when you go under the sun, 
it turns pink, and it's just something that is fun for you and your little ones. I brought this on my last working trip in Penang. Um, I'm someone that always likes to drink a lot of water, the kids too, so when we were traveling, I had this because all I have to do is put like icy cold water, a drop of lemon, and it's so refreshing just to drink off it. So sometimes, of course, when we were traveling, we're walking around the streets, and then the kids are getting like, oh my God, because they're so putri lili, and I'm so panat mami. And I'm going, look, 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 magic trick, come, I show you. This now will turn pink, ta-da! And I go outside and we're like, pink, ta-da! So this is also coming in. They're throwing it in just for this March 4th all the way till March 31st. Um, and we're having all this. And it's all so worth it, guys. So that is what I wanted to share with all of you right today. More on Norwex. But yes, if you have any other questions that you have or would like to know, even if it's non related with Norwex, please do share with us your comments or your feedback or anything else you would like to share with us. Wow, so many people who are talking to us. Okay, let me say, siapa lagi? Jules Gunn, totally agree regarding paternity leave allows dads to help new moms during confinement. I'm lucky to be able to dedicate three months for this. It's still tiring, but at least I could help. Bless you. Bella Beats, true. Gender discrimination exists even in this century. I know, right? Atelia says, hello, hi. And that's about it from Instagram. Hi, Anne. Chu Anne actually says, hello, Chu Anne. Oh, Anne lah. Your girl, Esha, already sent me some of the baby uh, food, but I'll go and collect it right after this live. Mm, that's about it. Anything from here? Lee Voon says, hello, hi. Yvonne Sazalis, hello from Sandakan. Hello, apa kabar kau? Zaira Sandakan, macam mana? Anything else? Sorry, this is going like really, really big. Dara, oh hi Kak Pon, hi. So a lot of hi there. Assalamualaikum to David Ling. Di sini Esther, ngomong apa? I'm okay. Orang ngerti aku apa kau ngomongin? Oh, orang Indonesia ya? Oh, okay. Siok pakai ni towel, says Lilita. I know. Which one? There's so many. You, you, you're you talking about the kitchen towel? It is. It's the bomb, guys. Hi there. I'm June from Labuan. I used to live in KK from 1970s to 1987. I love your blogs and how you include your kids. Cheers and keep it going. You know, one thing that I really, really miss is my vlogs. We used to do a lot of travel vlogs because we are known as travel vloggers, but now with the MCO, and that's the reason why we sort of pivoted into this live, live stream um, platform. But yeah, I really miss traveling and vlogging. I think um, we've got a few. We've got the Spain vlog that I haven't done. I haven't done my pregnancy vlog. So there's been a lot of vlogs that I haven't yet edited. Actually, there's quite a lot. Uh, and I hope to do that maybe one day so soon when i am got free time. When is that free time? Anyway, that's about it guys. I just wanted to say hello to everyone and just to make sure that you guys are doing okay. Also as a practice ground for us because we will be having a live session with Mr. Clay Johnson who is the regional HR for Swift, Swift Asia Pacific. And Mr. Clay and I will be chatting at 8pm on Wednesday. We're going to talk about fintech and I'm going to say what? And you know how a lot of people have been losing jobs? Uh, unfortunately, no thanks to the pandemic. But if you are interested in, you know, have, having to, you know, explore the fintech world or finance technology world, maybe this is something that you want to tune in. If you're afraid that you don't, you think you don't have the expertise or the background to, you know, go into this line, um, no worries. Uh, Clay would be more than happy to assist you into telling you what are some of the skill sets that you are required and some of the job opportunities that exist on fintech and especially in his company at Swift. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we'll call it a night. Happy International Women's Day. Choose to challenge. I think this is the, the code for this year's IWD 2021. Stay safe, everyone. And please, if you know of any petition with regards to paternity leave or sexual harassment bill, which is currently, you know, still being circulated, please sign on. Go and support this bill to be passed in Parliament. We don't know when Parliament's gonna be like fully functioning again. But I believe, I'm optimistic that our fellow MPs will do the right thing to make sure that this bill will be passed. Because hey, they've got a mother, they've got a wife, I'm sure they've got a daughter or a girlfriend that they love. I'm sure they wanna make it easy for their women and sisterhoods and friends, right? I mean, why am I like referring to the guys only? Yeah, because yeah, fortunately, most of the MPs there are dudes. So yes, let's push 
for this petition to be passed through, inshallah, we'll be able to get more support and there will be work, um, fair game in the workplace for both genders, regardless if you're female or male. This is Daphne Iking signing out, alive at home with Joe Labosi, and we love you. Take care, everyone.